What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can actually completely glitch out the Mic Blitz 3 or the meta Mabel coverage that you see a lot in Weekend League and online in Madden. This is a really, really good little glitch play um, that is just gonna help you kind of get people out of the uh, Mic Blitz 3, which I think you're gonna get a lot of that defense whenever you run this offense. And so this is um, something you can use. You can use this out of Several different things. You can actually create the concept from nothing if you want to. I'm going to grab um, one specific play just for my audibles, and that's the play Sluggo, just because we have, if you look here, we have this nice deep dig route to the left side. That's kind of what we're looking for. Um, and we're also going to be able to do this, though, from our base play, which is Y Stick, uh, which I think is really, really powerful. So it's really simple to set this up. Really, really simple. So I'm just going to set up the meta Mabel coverage here, uh, as you can see. And all we're going to do literally all we're going to do and this is what i like to do um is i like to motion this guy in just like we would if we were just running this play as is but when i motion him in what i like to do is i actually like to put him on a delay fade just like that okay because as you can see he becomes basically a tight end now obviously i wouldn't want to put godwin here i probably want to put godwin over here but th this is just for demonstration the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the r1 receiver on a uh, streak or a vertical route and then we're going to put brown on the outside on a comeback route and if you want to smart out the comeback route you can i'm going to leave it it's uh, default depth here and i just want to show you this slot streak um, this is really really good you see that the middle safety basically goes to the comeback and as you can see we're able to kill the mike blitz three meta defense over the top for a one play touchdown so if you're getting a lot of mike blitz three this is my favorite play in the game um, to be able to absolutely just obliterate Mike Blitz 3 from your opponent's um, your opponent's playbook. It just absolutely kills it. I think it's super, super good. Um, let me show you another way to do the same concept, and we can do that from the play Sluggo. As you can see here, the reason I like Sluggo is you see that I can get um, this dig route as opposed to a post. It's just you know kind of one of those things, a little bit different. Um, and what I can do with this is I can motion this guy in, and then, as you'll see here, I'm just going to do the same exact adjustment. But this time, I'm actually going to put the, both of these uh, tight ends here on delay drag. So it's going to give me even more protection, and I can release them whenever I want to. So you'll see here at Snap the Ball, we just run the play. And if you watch this R1, you see that safety completely glitches out over the top. And as you can see, we're able to beat it over the top for a one-play touchdown. Now, the way that your opponent is going to have to defend this is your opponent is going to have to start running deep halves on the outside. The reason that this is so significant is because when your opponent has to run deep halves, it's really going to open up some underneath passing lanes. So you'll see here, I'm going to run the same exact concept um, from the stick play. And I just want to show you that if they, I put deep halves on everybody. So if they, if they do, uh, I just want to show you what happens to the safety. So you see he runs vertical and there's really nowhere for me to throw it. Okay, as you can see, there's just not an opening. However, there is other options. There is other things that are going to be open whenever they start to deep half. And let me show you what that's going to be specifically on this play. So if they start to deep half, then what's going to happen is, number one, it's going to open up, like I said, it's going to open up a ton of other options for you. But it's also, um, if they start to deep half here on this, what you're going to notice is that you're basically you're going to be able to hit either your delay fade. Um, you're going to be able to hit your tight end little hitch or you're also going to be able to hit your post which is wide open right over the middle of the field so that's a great play and then once you get your opponent to start um using a lot of deep halves you know if you start to notice like this is a common theme they realize okay we've got a deep half we've got a deep half on this side of the field then that is where i really like to go to the play corners and the reason I like this play so much is because what you'll see is this corner route, whenever they're deep halfing, they can't, they won't bite back down on the corner route. And so you can throw that pretty much all day long. It's super simple. Um, and you can do that on both sides. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So um, if I were, if they were to run, you know, Mike Blitz three and they were to put everybody in a deep half and we were to run this corners play where we have two corner routes. If you take a look at this, um, triangle receiver you'll see again just hard pass laid outside and as you can see it absolutely torches um, it absolutely torches the deep half type of deal so if you're getting a lot of deep halves this is a way that you can take care of it it's also a way as you saw that we can completely glitch out 
uh, or opponent if they're running middle thirds, which I really love that because a lot of people are using Mike Blitz 3, and um, I just find this play to be so simple. And honestly, it really does go with everything else. The one thing I don't like is the comeback route. If I could honestly get rid of the comeback route, I would. Let me show you a smoke screen, and just for kicks and giggles, we'll try this. We might be able to get this to work. Sometimes a smoke screen does work, um, and obviously a smart route, a corner route, or a comeback route would be fine. A curl route would even be something that I would be interested in doing. But let me just show you. See, see how that outside guy runs right to him, basically? That's the biggest problem. The outside corner is essentially going to really sit on the, um, the, the vertical streak, and that's kind of the biggest problem that we're going to run into. So you'll see here, if I just put this guy on a smoke screen, if you watch that outside corner on the right, you see he's going to come in, and the safety in the middle of the field will still glitch out, and I can still burn it, but it's a lot dicier of a throw, especially in the ultimate team, and if you try to throw that in the ultimate team, it's very likely that's going to be an interception. So that's why I like to go with the comeback route. Um, if you smart route the comeback route, it's not... It's a little bit better from a spacing perspective. The main reason I don't like the comeback route is because I want to be able to throw that post route on the sideline. And if that comeback route gets too deep, it can kind of mess up the spacing, which is why if you use a smart routed comeback route, you're going to see now we still have all of this space over on the side to be able to throw our post route, um, at least away from the middle third. So. Anyways, that is the video. Thanks for watching. That's how you glitch out Mike Blitz 3. And if you want to get the rest of the five wide scheme, be sure to text me. My number is 208-218-6900. And if you text the word Madden um, to that cell phone number, it's also in the description below, then I will shoot you a link with all of the schemes that I've released in Madden 21, all 21 schemes. And this one will make 22 for me. So if you want to dive deep into Madden as we prepare for Madden 22, um, we're going to continue that as well. So if you want to get signed up for our text message membership playlist, all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching, guys.